Hey fellas, it's BNB again with another video. Before starting, I want to thank you guys for all the support. I really appreciate your standing behind the success. In this video guys, we will see how to make a connection between a microcontroller board, specifically the Arduino and the Microsoft Excel file. So let's get going. Let's start with the software part. In this project, you will need Microsoft Excel software, an Arduino IDE, you will need also PLX data acquisition. This software is the principal one needed in this project because he will read directly the serial information transmission from Arduino to the selected port and write that information in an Excel file. Well first, we have to download the PLX DAC, so we will find the link for downloading in the description of this video. After downloading, we have to extract the downloaded file. Then you will get a folder which contains two files, as shown in the screen. The first one is for help information, and the second one is the PLX spreadsheet. Now close that folder, and we will back for it later. Let's turn to the hardware part. I'm using an Arduino Nano and the potentiometer. Actually, the potentiometer will represent the same function as an analog sensor. So I'm using it to show you how the value transferred from the Arduino changed proportionally to that value of the potentiometer. I'm using an LCD to visualize the value changing. And an LED, its brightness depends on the sensor value too. Actually, the last two components are optional, so you can't try this project without them. Now we should program our Arduino, so let's open the Arduino IDE. I included the Liquid Crystal Fast library to control the LCD. Then I have to set up pin A0 where I place the potentiometer as an input pin and the pin number 11 where I connected an LED as an output pin. Now this instruction is to configure pins controlling the LCD. Don't forget to configure the bow rate of the serial transmission and keep that number in your mind because we will need it later. Now we should clear the existing data. Then right level to create a new columns. One for the current time, and another for the sensor value. Now the rest setup instructions are intended to display a message on the LCD. Moving to the loop function, the first instruction is reading the value from analog pin A0, then convert it with a map function to get the value between 0 and 255. And the serial transmission write data to indicate what we want to send is time and the sensor value. In the LCD, we will display also the sensor value. Then the LED brightness will follow the sensor value changing. We have a delay of 1 second, then clear the LCD and repeat the same logarithm again. That's it for the programming task. The next step consists on connecting the Arduino with the USB cable and upload the code. After uploading the code, let's try to turn the potentiometer axe. 
That's it. The value displayed on the LCD changed, so the LED brightness too. Now we will check if we got that value transferred to the laptop. So we have to open the serial monitor. And here we are, it's the same value displayed on the LCD and in the serial monitor. Now we're done with the serial monitor, let's turn to our target, the PLX DAC. So close the Arduino ID and go to the PLX DAC folder, then open the spreadsheet file. It's a normal Excel file with a macro, so if you don't allow Excel to open macros, you will not get the PLX monitor. So to enable macros, click options as shown in the screen and enable macros. Then click OK. You will get the PLX interface. Select the port where your board is connected. You can find the port number in Arduino IDE or open the peripheral manager and you can find in the serial device the port number where your Arduino is connected. Then you should set the ball rate. I hope you still remember that number. After setting, click connect and the C icon will change from red to green. And here it comes the values from Arduino. Let's try to change that value through the potentiometer. And it works. So guys, after getting the data, we just disconnect the Arduino and as you see here, all values are stored now in an Excel file. So we can use them in another application or just store them. That's it guys for this video, last few words I want to thank our Spencer Eliano Lilino, it was BNB in the lab, see you next time.